Hey clouds, what's up and welcome back to my channel. We are in London, London Weekly Vlog Part 1. We are all packed up and getting ready to head to the airport. <laughs> He's so excited. He's excited, guys. But yeah, we have a 10 hour flight ahead. So we brought lots of snacks, we downloaded lots of movies, might get some Wi-Fi depending on how these movies go. Hopefully they'll last us the whole 10 hours. But we are super excited. So yeah, we will see you guys in London. Thankfully the movies that we downloaded were like perfect for this trip. But if not, they had like this section where you can watch movies, watch TVs, play games, etc. Yay! Um, we did not sleep on the plane at all. I was too uncomfortable, but we're here. Gotta get our bags, clear customs, and then get our ride to the hotel. Ate lots of snacks. Walked a lot every two hours. So I said hotel, but we're actually going to the apartment. It's, I'm just not used to saying apartment whenever I travel. The ride to the apartment was an hour long, which wasn't that bad because it was so, so beautiful. It was like we were getting a tour of the city with the car. I'm going to show you guys a quick apartment tour because it's so cool and so cute. A little stair path. Yeah, lots of stairs. A little kitchen. Oh, there's a lot of stairs. We're on the third floor. We are so winded, but it's just because there's no elevators, so you have to walk up three flights, and then you saw we also have another flight of stairs in our apartment area, so that's really fun. Got my exercise in, definitely. This is the long hallway to our bedroom bathroom. The bathroom is a really like cute little good-sized bathroom, and then our bedroom is perfect for just us. And yeah, that sums up the apartment tour. We are trying to fight the jet lag, jet lag, whatever. Um, walking around and we're gonna get some dinner at this place and then hopefully bedtime. It's so cool here though, there's so much to do. A lot of people too. Exhausted, we're gonna wait for that place um, to open up so we can have dinner. First they told us five. Then we went at five and then they told us the kitchen doesn't open until six. So we can't wait until six. We just got um, some Greek euros and stuff like that. We're gonna eat, chill out, go to bed. Hopefully wake up and get done with the jet lag. Day two up at noon. Got some coffee from Greg's. We couldn't find Starbucks, but they only do hot coffee there. So or tip. So yesterday we came back, had dinner, went to bed, and then we kept waking up every two hours. And finally at 2 a.m. we just stayed up, went down and got some food, fell asleep at 4, and then woke up today at 12. So we're getting ready and we're going to go to this place called the Sparrow Market or something like that. I'll put it right here. And it's really cool, so I'll show you guys that. Let's go. Outfit of the day. Bump is bumping. These shoes on. Super cute and comfy. A little warmer today. Yeah, bump is bumping. Let's go. Follow me to the Spitafil markets and be amazed. <laughs> So what's so great about this market is that, especially on the weekends, they really go all out. They pop off. This was the Sunday, so they had all of their vendors there, which was 1,500 vendors. There's so many cute shops that you can shop around. I was trying to look for a dress. I was wanting some jewelry, but I didn't find anything. I did find something for the baby. I got her one of these dresses, which is handmade here in London, so that was really cool. And of course, I saw this amazing juice and smoothie stand, and I had to stop and get one. This is the strawberry mango banana and it was so, so delicious. Next, we got lost on the tube trying to work it, but we finally figured it out and we made it to our destination, which is this amazing Trafalgar Square. Oh, I said it with accent. Hello, I'm a local now. Um, but yeah, there's so many things to do in this square. There's the Natural Museum that's right behind this fountain that is like top tier museum of London apparently. So we're gonna try that out next weekend. There's Big Ben, hey Big Ben. 
But yeah, we are on our way to the Royal Gardens just so we can go to the Royal Palace, you know, Buckingham Palace, see the Queen. Um, I don't think she was in today because there was only one guard, but like, look at how pretty it is. I would love to take pictures in front of that gate, but it was so, so packed. And also there was under a lot of construction, as you can see, lots of constructions going on in London right now. I don't know why, but it's still so beautiful and just being there is really cool. I have been here before because I was in London like 10 years ago. So it's cool to be back and just like really soak it all in and appreciate it. That arch right there to my left, which is now behind me, that is the Wellington Arch, and um, they're really good at their meats, apparently. Just kidding. That was like a corny joke. Now, this is a monument for the war. It's like a long, old war back in Mesopotamia. I wish I would've got more information on it, but it was just really cool. So we had an amazing day. Yeah, I'm so tired. I got this baby on board thing from the station, train station, the tube. After we got lost for a little bit, but we found out I am resting my feet with some elevation because we walked 12,000 steps today. Yeah, so we went to the Buckingham Palace, then we walked and went to a pub, and um, it didn't, it wasn't serving food at Sundays. Some places are like very picky, they don't serve food on Sundays. Let me wipe my camera. Yeah, sorry, I had to wipe my camera. Um, so then we just came back to our area and had the traditional English dinner. Me and Mason had duck. It was really, really good. I'm so tired. I'm gonna charge my phone, rest up, and then hopefully the grocery store is still open because we need to do some grocery shopping so I can have snacks tomorrow. And yeah, so yeah, we'll see what else. I think that's it. Maybe get some dessert later. We kind of had a late lunch. That was our lunch. It's like dinner time now. It's like 6 o'clock. But we woke up at 12, so kind of threw everything off. But overall, really, really good day. I'm going to do some more exploring tomorrow. Depending on how I feel. I don't know. My feet are pretty swollen. <laughs> but yeah, I'll check back with you guys soon. So I got a little rest in, and now we're going to this pub that Mason found. He really likes it. It's called Dirty Dicks, and um, it's a very old school. It was founded a long time ago, and literally it hasn't changed. I think maybe they added some speakers for music, and that's about it. The music sounds pretty really far. It hasn't changed because it's cold now, but it's like, it was found when I was like, do the research, but it makes me favorite. Oh, so super cute. I think the idea is it was like Charles Dickens' bar. That's why it's called Dirty Dicks. But, um, so I just really love the whole like vibe of this pub. It's so cool and it's definitely like old school. It fits its genre, that's for sure. This is the way to the bathroom. I see lots of bathrooms on this trip because, you know, small pregnant bladder. So I guess that's a plus because they're really cool bathrooms. We decided to end the night with some pizza and honestly, I wasn't even going to get pizza, but we got here for the tiramisu and I smelled the pizza and I was like... <gasps> Let's take the pizza home because they were closing and oh my gosh, this was like the best pizza ever. So, so good. I'm dreaming of it. Good morning. I am so tired. I could not go to bed till like 2 a.m. this London time and it's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now. Mason got up and went to work at 7 because this is our baby moon, but he's also working Monday through Friday. Um, but he's going to get off kind of early like a little earlier so we still get to do stuff together later in the day but monday through friday i am gonna just be exploring the city we're gonna see how it goes i'm gonna get some coffee from the starbucks downstairs in the tube station then it's maybe some breakfast i definitely have to go get groceries today i'm on the mission to shop for a maternity dress because i'm doing my maternity photo shoot in paris this weekend i'm super excited never been to paris so can't wait to do that but i also just googled some places that are like the max 20 minute walk we walked literally 14,000 steps yesterday so i'm super tired but there's a really cool like garden and an old church that i really want to see and then there's some stops along the way so i'm like i might get the energy to do that or i might have a chill day depends on how coffee and groceries and shopping goes. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Of course, take you guys with me. 
My feet are definitely feeling it, so this will be interesting. I might just stay at home today, but I could do that tomorrow, but I don't know. So many decisions, so yeah, let's go get coffee first. <laughs> I, in fact, did not stay home today, but I did do some shopping and I didn't find any luck in the stores. It's very like, I don't know, such a different style than what I'm used to. I found some cute shirts, but nothing I was like in love with. So we just skipped the shopping for clothes and went shopping for groceries. So this is basically like their version of Walmart, but it's completely different. Like everything seems really healthy, really fresh. The eggs aren't even in a refrigerator, which is kind of crazy. I definitely felt out of place, but we got through it. Oh my goodness, you should see how many flight of stairs I have to walk up. So I only got like two small bags of groceries. They also don't like have pusher carts in the grocery store. So I didn't get a lot, but I got enough for snacks and dinner tonight. I'll have to go like probably every day to get dinner because there's no way I'm gonna walk up like this full of groceries up four flights of stairs. Yeah, there's no way, but I'll show you guys what I got. So this is bag one. These bags are 80 cents. I'm taking them everywhere. I really like cereal, like right when I wake up, that's when I'm get super hungry, like I wake up starving. These look familiar to me. It's also overwhelming going to a grocery store and like there's so many different options and you're like, what is good? These look familiar to me, so they're Frosties. I think they're like Frosty Flakes because there's Frosty the Tiger. Got a little salad mix. I think this is arugula. It doesn't really say. It just says wash before. Wild Rocket. These are wild rockets, but they look like arugula, so we're gonna go with arugula. A little salad snack. Pomegranates that are like already done. I could've got a whole pomegranate and like did this myself, but we're not gonna be messy. A little baby thing of milk, just because I did not, like I said, did not wanna walk all the way up with heavy stuff. Some more little mixed fruits. I love fruits. They had like, they had pineapple, cantaloupe, strawberries, um, watermelon. But like I said, I'm gonna have to wait for Mason to get like the real things. Here's a lemon for my salad. Two chicken breasts for dinner tonight. We actually have pasta stuff, but they left us here in the apartment. So I'm gonna make pasta with some chicken and salad tonight. Got some green beans in case I don't wanna do the salad. I'll just do green beans. Salad could be my snack if anything. And then cheese. I was looking for cheddar cheese, like how the orange cheddar cheese, but this is like natural cheddar cheese. At least that's what it says. Mature cheddar, 100% British milk. So we're gonna try that for bag number two. We're gonna try the cheese with this white farmhouse bread. It looks really good actually. Make like grilled cheeses for snack. I got eggs. They don't keep their eggs in, um, they look really fresh actually. They don't keep their eggs in a refrigerator, so I don't know if I have to refrigerate these or not. These are six free range eggs, and like I said, they look, they look nice and fresh. We'll find out how they taste, how they look. Do I keep them refrigerated? I don't know. And look at how their apples came. I love snacking on apples, big fruit person. Yeah, I was gonna get some peanut butter, but then I was like, this cart, this like, whatever you want to call it, shopper cart that they have, is getting way too heavy, so we got apples. A big thing of water bottle, even though I Googled that you can drink the water here, I just want to be safe, get some water, and drink this now. Really good. London's supposed to have like really good, fresh, high quality tap water, but still. And I got some orange juice because I was wanting orange juice last night, so. I'm gonna put this away in the shower sit down for a second and then get ready to do some exploring. All these groceries were, I had 14 items plus the two bags and they were $22.35. So I feel like that's good. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna put these away and then we're gonna rest and then get ready for a little adventure today. Oh, by the way, this is really cute. This is the 
refrigerator. It's very small, but there's also a mini fridge over there. And then this is like the drink cooler, right? A energy. So yeah, super cute. Came with like some nice utensils. I've been snacking on gum. They don't do like coffee here. So we have this powdered coffee packets and tea. But if I ever find out how to work this, I'm sure I can make some coffee out of this. Okay, just showered. I threw on the same shirt just because I have to do laundry. And I'm trying to figure out how it works. So it's like a two-in-one. It's a washer and a dryer. That seems very sketch to me, but we're trying it out. That's what that noise is. But I actually ordered the maternity photo shoot dress on this website that's London-based. And I'll ship tomorrow so i'll be here in time hopefully praying that's at least what the website said so if not, i have a backup but like you guys already seen it but it was like pre-pregnancy when you saw it so maybe it'll look a little different anyways i'm gonna check this out make sure it's like doing its thing this is the contraption there is water in there so i think we did it i think that's a detergent pod <laughs> i hope so that's what they left us um, yeah, this is, this is crazy, but you see this, it says like, I'm guessing this is the side for the wash because it says pre-wash. So I just did, I don't know what 30, 40, I don't know what that means. I'm guessing temperature, but I don't know also. So we just played it safe to 30 and I pressed start and that was it. I don't know what any of this means. Um, but also this is a drying side, so I'm interested to see how it goes from wet to drying. So I will check back with you when it's done. But it looks like it's doing its job, so that's good. This is the handmade dress we got the baby. Super cute. Handmade here in London, and it's just so, so gorgeous. I love the little details, the little corset top. They had so many options, but when I saw this, I was like, yas, honey, so cute. So yeah, just a little unbagging haul because i could not i can't find any outfits for me here but got her something so good gonna get ready but i just have to pick out the outfit the place i want to go to is just like a old cathedral that's now a garden so i don't know what dress would go with that vibe oh i need help Finally getting ready now that it's two o'clock. Oops, just touched my lashes. That's hilarious. Um, the washer definitely washed the clothes, and now I just switched it to the dryer portion. So we're gonna see how well it dries. I don't know. I was making some crazy noises earlier, but yeah, I'm gonna do a quick little glam and do my hair, and then just get dressed. I'm not gonna film glam today just cause like, no point, it's just gonna be super, super quick. And the lighting in here is very, very bad. And I have, and I have a kitchen chair in here cause I need to sit some more. Didn't, I like lightly napped, maybe like did a cat nap. But definitely rested my feet, kept them elevated for a good three hours. I think I'm ready for this 20 minute, 20 minute walk that I have ahead. Um, I also forgot some like basic necessities at the store. So we're gonna go back. And I'm gonna try this other store. It's like this Italian restaurant imported grocery store. Like it has everything, restaurants, groceries, dessert, bar. Literally, it's so cool. Everything's from Italy, uh, Italy too. So, super excited to try that. Might as well get some good Italian groceries while we're out today. Gonna check some stuff out. I'll probably literally rest tomorrow because my body definitely needs it, but I just feel like I've been laying around in this place all day. I wanna go somewhere, do something, get some movement going. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I'll show you guys a hair tutorial because I'm gonna try something new today, so we'll see how that goes. BRB. Okay, makeup all done. Pretty, you gotta get super close for this lighting. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do this hairstyle that I saw on TikTok that looks very simple, very cute. So let's see if it's cute and simple, like 
I assume. I'm just gonna get like a square of hair up here. Make sure it's like all even. I think it's even. I'm gonna pin this back so I can double sh ensure that nothing gets where it's not supposed to. So we're just gonna do four small ponies. I'm gonna do this first one and then repeat it three times. And I'm gonna like do the ponytail backwards. I'm gonna have to straighten my hair after this. Tighten it, so there's one. Okay, now I'm gonna get another section of hair. This looked way easier on TikTok. Another little ponytail. Okay, so yeah, you see that it's four. Oh. Missed the hair. So then we're just going to so I just crossed it over. We're going to tie this left one with this right one. And then the other. Okay, now that's what it looks like. I'm going to straighten my hair really quick and then I'll show you like the final because this looks a little scary. We are back again. Okay, so it came out cute my hair is definitely way frizzy but i feel like it's still cute i'll show you guys like the full outfit of the day I know that it's three o'clock but you know super cute the bump i have some like really comfy shoes on today because we might be wobbling in this dress but super cute so why not okay let's go do some exploring I think I'm going the right way. I'm not too sure. The GPS is like lagging, but we're gonna find out. Pretty though. Okay, so this was the first stop. It's just like a big egg shaped building that's in all the movies. Um, you can go have lunch up there and like see a good view, but I'm not gonna do that today. We're not gonna find out if there's an elevator or not, but yeah, just the first stop on the way to the place that I wanna go. The second stop is like this monument thing. So it's just really cool and interesting. All the architecture here is really, really nice. So let's go to stop number two. That's the monument behind me I just saw. Super pretty, super crazy. There's like a bunch of information on there. I just scratch out a bit. Pause and read on the video, I guess. <laughs> So as you can see, there's a lot of information on it. Basically, this monument is just a representation of the damage that was done in these London fires a long time ago. You'll see here soon that you could read this right here. Pause and read that for a little more information. It was a lot of damage, and I believe that the height of the monument is just to represent how much damage was actually done. It like was firing in London for several days and really ruined the entire city. There's also this section on the monument, which is written in Greek, but they also have this little translation section right here that you can read in English. So I thought that was pretty cool. Go ahead and pause and read that too, because it's kind of a long read, but very, very interesting. So huge. I'm so glad I drew on this jacket because it's a little windy. But yeah, it's really, really tall. It's really cool. So that this is our second stop. There's a lot of cool things on the way, but I'm going to be honest, it's Kind of nerve-wracking walking alone but this is my first time exploring the city day one by myself so i feel like by the end of this trip i'll be a pro but it's so beautiful and it's a nice beautiful day not too hot not too cold but hello windy a bug flew into my eye so hopefully the makeup is still intact but i don't know yeah it's doing good so far we're gonna go to the gardens now can't wait to go and see Okay, so I was totally walking the wrong way just two seconds ago, but we're on the right track. Um, yeah, it is so beautiful. Lots of things to look at. There's like old buildings, churches, every corner. It, this was like a 20 minute walk in total, but it's not that bad just because it's so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys this beautiful building in front of me. It looks like it would be, um, I honestly don't know what it would look like, but it's so pretty. So hold on, let me show you. Hold on. Now there's trees in my way. I don't know what that dude's doing up there, but he's doing something. So yeah. Okay, now I just need to find out how to get inside. The garden in the church. Absolutely so beautiful already. 
Oh my gosh, all these buildings are so tall. It's amazing. And they're like very historical. So I don't know how they got it this tall back in the day. caught it but there's a bride doing like a photo shoot in front super super pretty good spot girl yeah i'm gonna rest and then show you guys the rest of the building i really can't get over how beautiful this was i mean the pictures online look absolutely amazing but literally in person it's so beautiful now this is like such a peaceful vibe i just want you to sit back relax and enjoy the vibe Lots of people were reading, eating dinner, and really just hanging out, but I didn't want to talk through this video part right here just because, again, it was such a peaceful vibe. It still has like a church vibe. And also, the bride was still taking her photos, so I didn't want to, you know, ruin her photos. But yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the views, and listen to the beautiful scenery of this garden, minus like all the traffic. Side note, there was also a bunch of fun wildlife running around and it just felt even more peaceful with them and they were like not scared of the people. This is Harry, meet Harry the squirrel. He was like trying to come up to me. I don't know if he wanted a pet or if he wanted a snack or if he wanted to take my photo, but hi Harry, we love you. Okay, now walking back to the flat, I guess it's not called an apartment, but yeah, it's so pretty here. Lots of picture options, did what I could with myself and as you know, strangers, so that worked out. Super, super pretty and I'm going to show you guys like the view on the way because it's just amazing but I'm also going to look at my GPS. <laughs> Rolls Royce taxi. Um, I need like butter, salt, pepper, all that good stuff. Forgot the basics, of course. Um, so yeah, we'll see. There's a lot of like cool little coffee shops that if I had more time, like I should have left earlier, I would have stopped there. Yeah, still a successful day, seeing some beautiful, beautiful sights, historic buildings. Love it. Change of outfit for tonight. 
some more wine. We're just gonna get some appetizers, some drinks for Mason, and then cook dinner tonight. So yeah, we're really excited to go to the store market down here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. London has very old, rich history and culture, so it's very, very cool to see. And you can tell, like, the roads right here are still cobblestone roads from way, way, way back in the day. But this little market, it's called, like, Leaner Hall or something like that. The locals here like to say it's the Harry Potter Village because it does have Harry Potter vibes, but this was here for, like, a long time, like the 1600s. So it's really, really cool. So we decided to pop into the Spanish tapas restaurant for a little snack and I had traditional Spain, Spanish food. It was so good. I couldn't have um, the raw meat, but everything else was really, really good. It really looks really good. <laughs> That's why you poured it. <laughs> My camera was lagging, but these shrimps were, oh, divine. I think in London, basically, there's stairs you have to take, which is no problem. It's kind of like fascinating because sometimes the bathrooms are upstairs and sometimes they're downstairs. Sometimes there's restaurant upstairs, vice versa. Look at how pretty this bathroom is. I feel like this is a good location to show you guys the full outfit of the day. We are just ending the night with some drinks and, of course, me and my water. So, yeah. And this is where we're going to end today's vlog just because I don't want it to be super, super long. But I do have a part two coming soon, so please stay tuned.